here to review Pirates of the Caribbean, I think the nth uh, installment. Uh, I was, I'm actually filled with mixed emotions after seeing the movie. Infinite boredom at having had to sit through it. Uh, and unbounded joy at the thought that there will not be any more. Uh, thank God they're ending this, this series. They've stretched it for way too long. Uh, even Johnny Depp, I think, has begun to look tired of doing the same thing all over again. Jack, move! I'm so sorry, were you still talking? What do you think? What, what was this one about? You've not seen too many first. Yeah. No, I didn't really follow Pirates of the Caribbean as a series. Right. I saw one, but I thought it was too disgusting at parts and a little dark, so I just stopped. Okay. Um, so, it was about a dead crew led by Salazar. Uh, on the hunt for Captain Jack Sparrow, seeking revenge. Pirates had infected the seas for generations. So I vowed to eliminate them all. And then, there was this boy. Jack Sparrow. Follow him in! He took everything from me. Yet another tale uh, with curses, etc., thrown in, uh, hidden treasure, all of the usual stuff that you would expect from this franchise. Uh, Javier Bardem is the headline act. He's Captain Salazar. Apart from that, there's the usual lot: Johnny Depp. Uh, there's a little bit of Orlando Bloom. There's Jeffrey Rush, and two newbies: uh, Brenton Thwait and Kaya Scodelari. This moment on, we are to be allies. Considering where your left hand is, let's say we're more than that. Brenton is the son of William Turner, Orlando Bloom, who's trying to revert his father's curse. And Kaya, well, there's not a lot known about her except that she's an astronomer, therefore accused of being a witch. <laughs> and she's also a horologist. <laughs> and the rest of the crew really can't make out what that is apart from the obvious. <laughs> that was funny. So that was funny to a limited extent, yes. It wasn't it wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad either. Like it was fun to watch in some places. It was a little funny as well. Um I like the special effects a lot. I yeah, think the, the, the way the dead, crew looked the dead crew, the, it was really look cool. Of the crew was, was quite uh, there was a part with sharks, which I thought oh, yeah. was really really nice. Uh, I think this is the seventh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I've just heard too much of the background music, even though it's a very yeah. nice score. Uh, there were moments, uh, but equally there were moments that made you go, come on. For example, there was an opening heist sequence involving a safe and a vault. And you're thinking, no, come on. Uh, if you take the first one, most of the things in the first one you kind of found plausible. At least the kind of stunts that Jack Sparrow did, or I mean Johnny Depp did, you found it plausible. Uh, here it just goes into realm of myth and legend, etc. Uh, take Kaya Scodelaria, who, as we, as I said, is an astronomer and a horologist, but really she she has this book and. We understand it has something to do with the stars and some calculations, but what really, what speciality did she bring to the table which didn't allow all the others to kind of get there? That part is not really understood. The dead have taken command of the sea. They're searching for her, a girl, and a sparrow. So, lots of little, little snippets here and there that were interesting, lots of little things, little touches, but overall it just lacked that that punch and the humor quotient was way lower than the other uh, uh, Pirates movies especially the first again the first one I think has been the best and maybe the one with the mermaids I think these are the two that really stand out in my memory even I kind of gave up on the franchise uh, I think I saw this one mostly for Javier Bardem what, what would you rate it? 
Um, I'm gonna give it a six upon ten. Uh, I actually wouldn't have given it such a high rating if it wasn't for Johnny Depp. I think he's a great actor. I really love him. Um, I also really liked Javier. I think he acted really well. Javier is great, and uh, Johnny too much. I think of the same old. Uh, I'm gonna go with a four on ten. I think I actually dozed off in some of yeah. some part in the middle where there are waves and there's divisions, etc. It just stretched it, and that's true not just of the movie but of the franchise. So glad it's over, and that's all from us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.